Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Age of Engineering with your stray Jason Mac Ray. So welcome back guys, welcome back. Uh yeah, I know I promised that I will have a house, but I really did not have time to uh, do some off-camera stuff. I'm glad that I at least uh, went mining and managed to do some mining, so sorry about that. Anyway, uh, tank which uh, is going to be like put here, because it's bugged as I showed you at the beginning. And last time we managed to get some steel, so this is just going on pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, this guy, uh, those guys are actually running low on fuel, so let's just put the fuel in. This one still has a little bit, which actually I can just replace with the coal coke, why not? There we go. So I did a little bit of mining, it's just some iron, copper and tin. That's all what I found. And also we managed to get ourselves some RF generation. So to progress further, uh, I don't really feel like uh, cranking is the way to go. So what I would like to do is get some uh, better power production. So the guidebook says that we can use a solar panel which is possible, definitely, but it produces only one RF per take, which is really not much. Uh, we could upgrade it to solar power 2, oh, we can't because we need the empower, so yeah, that, that this would be just the one option, which I don't really feel like doing, because, like, yeah, it's one RF per take, no. So, instead of that, I would like to do uh, two things, well, maybe just one, we'll see how, uh, much time and much resources it will consume. So, we have immersive engineering. So, I would like to get windmills and water wheels. So, I don't know about how much it will produce energy, but I think it's going to be a nice amount of energy. Actually, what I would like to check is the LV stuff, the connectors, cables and... Oh, I ran out of coal. Oopsie. Some coal, some charcoal and stuff. There we go. Just to keep it running. Uh, so, LV connector. There we go. So, we need Restonia crystals, which are from Atomic Reconstructor. Okay. Anything else? We will need the Kinetic Dynamo, which requires Copper Coil Block, which requires Anyori. So, we definitely need... Uh, to make a atomic reconstructor. Also, uh, the coil, the copper wires, I can use the uh, hand uh, crafting, that's good, so for the beginning. Then we will make a metal press at some point. So we can get two wires per one ingot instead of one to one. All right, so the very first thing we need is called a atomic, atomic recon, reconstructor. So this guy, Stuffy Enchant Exchanger or Stuffy Modulator, or whatever you want to call it. So this is just a bunch of iron redstone, this is uh, iron, black quartz and advanced machine casing or block. Uh, I cannot make the advanced machine block uh, because it requires refined iron ingot, which the only way currently on getting is with our smelter which I cannot craft because it requires machine chassis, which requires carpenter, and carpenter requires a sturdy casing, which requires empower. So, suck that. <laughs> right. Uh, so I can't do that. Uh, the electric sortifier I don't think I can do either, and this furnace from uh, Exotilities is disabled, so that's pretty much all what I could do, and as you can see it doesn't really work. Uh, so, I will need to go with the Industrial Craft version, which is a basic machine casing, which is a bunch of iron. We need some carbon plates, which is crushed coal. Uh, we need some steel, which we are producing, and advanced alloys. Uh, advanced alloys, there is only one way of getting it. Uh, these guys, there are also the uh, version from Tech Reborn, but uh, as I said, I can't redo really anything Tech Reborn-y. So, I need for this, I need iron. 
bronze and tin, which all of those things I do have. Uh, so I will want just one craft, I think, right? Because it will give me two and I need two for one casing. Do I need anything else? Probably uh, I will need more, but hey, I am just going to do what I can do right now. So let's start with uh, plating these guys. Uh, also, let's take this out and put it into uh, my smeltery. So iron and tin can go in. I'm not going to put copper so it doesn't alloy. Also, I think it was in here uh, the uh, furnace controller. Furnace controller. Uh, this guy, where is it? This guy, the seared furnace control from Tinkers, it's pretty much something similar to smeltery, but it's more like a vanilla furnace in a multi-block form, which is something that I might do at some point, uh, maybe off camera, because I assume uh, it's crafted pretty much similarly well, like this. <laughs> this looks derpy. <laughs> uh, so that would be nice actually to have and like cook stuff in so I don't really need to bother about alloying and stuff which is a big big issue anyway I need some copper I need some tin and I need some iron all right also uh, I made myself a, a trash can over here to avoid excess uh, creosote oil because I was just getting too much and I can't use it into the uh, solid, uh, sorry, not solid, the liquid firebox, it doesn't work in there. So I don't think is, if there is any other use, but yeah. I found out that there isn't really any other use. So I will need three of these, three of these and three of these. Well, actually I will need three, eight, so that's 11, I think. Alright, so these are the iron plates for the advanced alloy ingot, so I need it's uh, iron, tin, copper, of course we need to put it in the correct order, so advanced alloy, uh, iron, bronze, tin, so iron, oh it's not copper, it's bronze, my bad, so I need bronze instead of copper, which I should have somewhere here. Yeah, not good. Alright, so here is the mixed metal ingot and we can put it into the compressor. Yes, so compressor is here. So let's shove it in. Let's get myself the two advanced alloys. And now what else I need? I need uh, two pieces of carbon, which is coal. Uh, oops, come on. Nope. Come on. Uh, so carbon, which is carbon mesh, which is carbon fiber, which is coal powder. So four, eight coal per one. So I need 16 coal, right? Okay, here comes the last coal dust. So let's turn it into carbon fiber. Let's turn it into carbon mesh and let's shove it here to do some crafting to get myself a second carbon plate. I already prepared uh, the uh, advanced alloy and the machine block in a crafting table so I can just put it together and we have advanced machine casing. So now I can get this which is iron and black quartz. I should have some black quartz here. Uh, how to process it? Uh, looks like I really cannot turn it into anything with stuffs so it just goes to smelting all right so i need four well i can just smelt them all i mean it's not an issue to find these i have been i haven't been looking for them because they are in a place where you don't often mine but i don't think it's going to be an issue to find much and also we will have soon our uh think uh, the tool forge which actually I might be almost able to do let's see 9 23 24 right no 9 times 4 36 I need one more which is going to be done in no time yeah in no time pretty much 
So I guess I can start plating these. Also I need some coal in there. You know what, let's just shove a coal coke in there right now because we are like using the machines pretty much like a full time. So let's get the black quartz and let's get this done. So I need iron casing. And here is the atomic constructor, which requires RF power, obviously. So I'm going to put it here. What I'm going also to use is I'm going to make myself a redstone torch to activate it to the pulse mode. And I'm going to use a button. So I can press the button and it will do its magic. Now I need some power, which means I need some uh, crank, cranking to do. Let's get three cranks, i glad they stuck. <laughs> so, boom, let's put the rest in here and let's just crank and power this up a little bit. Let's actually see, does it? It does not receive energy. So I need to probably click this. Uh, shift click it and now it should output yes as you can see it says 144 rf stored in there and it remembers the pulse mode which is great right so let me do some cranking let me fill it up a little bit and we'll get some annuary maybe void crystals and stuff all right so now to uh, it has a almost 5k i don't need too much and to make a annuary crystals you just throw uh, the ingots on the ground and you get Anyori crystals. So I'm going with the kinetic dynamo for which I need some uh, coils. They require copper and some form of cutting. And this is not keeping up. <laughs> so I'm like sucking all the power out like a yeah. But hey, eventually we will have something good and something better to produce power. Uh, so I will need how much? 16 uh, 16 coils which is 16 wires so it means 16 copper all right all right so here is the oops last plate i need so let's get myself some more sticks uh, actually i need to cut this down to wires there we go our coils and now I can make these two coil blocks and now it's just redstone and iron what oh it's three pieces of iron okay should be a problem I should have some iron still here yep so let's get the second one there we go so this is the first thing we need uh, this is the thing that will have the power uh, which will generate the power but we also need the rotational thing so I'm going with uh, water wheels first because I like them and let's see I need some steel not a problem I need water wheel segments so I'm going with two of these eventually I might go with four or I might go with four right away we'll see but I will start with the I will start with the two. So to get these, I need some steel and what will segments, which is a bunch of treated wood things. So uh, do I have a bucket or did I use my bucket to get to make something? Oh yeah, I used it to make myself a uh, the fluid white thingy. So I need a bucket for a creosote. Boop. So two of these and these guys, water wheels, nice. So I'm going to put it here. Now we are generating power. We need water, which is not a problem, but we will also need to transfer the power. Uh, for the power transport, we could use probably Ender IO pipes or some conduits, uh, but honestly, I really love uh, the wires. Uh, these guys the wire coils because you can connect uh, two spots and it's like a range i don't know how configured the range is here hopefully it's not going to be like one block <laughs> but yeah uh, so i need a couple more copper 
and I will also need connectors, right? Yeah, connectors connect to the machines and relays are in between. So I will need two connectors, which is not a problem. I just need some Restonia crystals. Uh, I don't have any, but I can get some. Oops, I have uh, this on me. So let's get a block of redstone. Uh, let's put it down. Like literally put it down. You can throw it or just place it. Doesn't matter. And I will use this. And we have Restonia crystal block, which we can then turn into Restonia crystals. You can, of course, uh, throw the redstone on the ground and do it the same way. But, well, I just showed you the other way of doing that. So, I will need two of these. I will need some copper, which I should have here. Loads of copper. Nice. Okay, here are the wires. Now, let's make them into coil. Go. So now we can pretty much connect it to the stuffs. Uh, for the power storage, I could be fancy pants and uh, make myself uh, this guy, the capacitor. Which, as you can see, it's fairly expensive actually. It needs, it needs the rest only a crystal block. Or I can just uh, keep uh, the power stored in the advanced power cube, that should be fine. I don't know what's the maximum of the power storage of this guy, but I feel like it's going to be just fine. So, uh, this is going to produce us pretty much infinite amount of energy, at least what, RF, what means in ways of RF. So... I would really love to get some uh, industrial craft power in this way. Or maybe something even better. Alright guys, so... Um, I think I am going to start building my house. So I'll be back when I have... I will just have a basic house, like a room or two, uh, where I can just have machines in and uh, we will set uh, this up so I can generate some infinite RF energy. So, uh, I don't have a setup for the fast forward in the way of like a floating camera and that sort of fancy stuff because like it's 110 and that mod is really derpy that allows me to do it and I would need to set up with a uh, like a spe special account and do so or start some sort of shenanigans. So I'll be back when the house is built. Alright, so the house is built. It took a little bit longer than I expected, so... <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I went a little bit like... Uh, a bit and uh, nuts with with all of this so let me walk you through so this is the entryway where I have the tinkers crafting and some furnaces and it will be pretty much like a storage aka uh, easy to access area then over here on the left I have my tinkers furnace which is currently not doing anything uh, but it works. I also put uh, uh, seared gauges so I can see the liquid inside just because I like it uh, Over here. I have my coke ovens and if I will decide to go with the blast furnaces from immersive engineering I will put one here and one here maybe so yeah, it's like that And don't mind the walls. I have been trying to be a little bit like clever conservative well not conservative like clever and it didn't really worked out as I expected so I just yeah it, it looks a little bit weird I know but hey at least it's a house <laughs> over here I have my industrial craft things uh, with the trophy over here uh, I decided actually that maybe the trophies I could put like in there that might be a good idea and it's fairly easily expandable to the side so if I will have more industrial craft machines I can expand this way and lastly this is the biggest room which is the RF uh, gen well RF room where I will have uh, my RF generating machines and consuming machines and stuff of course uh, again if needs to be expanded I can expand it that way so yeah and we have only one floor I don't have any basement I might make a basement at some point but we'll see about that so let's have a sleep 
and let's actually place down uh, the water wheel. So, I should have it here, up and ready. There we go. So, I will definitely go with two more water wheels. So I will have like uh, four total. But for just now, oh, where are my, where is my, where are my dynamos? Um, where did I put my dynamos? Someone stole my dynamos. What the hell? Maybe I forgot them in the cave? Because the cave, there are some chests still in there. Alright, let me check. Uh, nothing here, nothing here, uh, nothing here, and I think I moved everything from here. Hmm. Well, well, well. My dynamos are gone. Okay. So, no idea where they are. Really. Uh, well, then, uh, let's make a new one quickly. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Also, I think I should have, should put a uh, crafting table here. That's actually not a bad idea. Um, for some reason, my thing doesn't want to work. I press the button and just nothing happens. What? Uh, it has 872 RF. This costs only 80 RF to like do its thing. So what? What? This place is cursed, or I have no other explanation for this. Let me just try to reset it. Boom, boom. Come on. One point four. Wow, it used much more. It should use only eighty RF to transform, and it used like one point two K. What is it? Maybe because of this chest in the way. I mean, it's possible, but. I Weird, weird stuff is happening, guys, in here. Weird, weird stuff. Also, you can see I changed uh, this setup a little bit. So what I actually did is I connected all the pipes on the bottom near the compressors and I uh, blocked one way. So uh, basically the cell from here uh, can go down and to the left. But due to the filters, it will go always to the first uh, place it can on the line. So it will be always put here. This one will be always put here. This one will be always put here. And I have only one chest to store my uh, steel and stuff. Also, I think I was making myself these guys, yeah, for the uh, tool forge. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like every time I move something somewhere, I seem to lose a lot of different things. Which, like, yeah. <laughs> so I just, I know I made shears and I have no idea where they are. So, yeah. Like me losing all the stuff every time. And all the time, should I say. Anyway, let's get back the coils. Fortunately, it's not like too, too expensive. Uh, kinetic... Dynamo... I just need some redstone and iron, right? So, iron and redstone. So... What the heck is going on, really? Ah, alright, so I have my kinetic dynamos. So I should have everything ready, so let's go outside 
and let me show you the place where I will have the water wheels. So I built a little trench, what I was first thinking is kinda make it look natural, so like I would have a pool of water above here and just it would pour in, but it didn't really work well. Because I would need to bring it way down and I just don't really want to uh, bother with that. So I will have the dynamos here and here. And then I will have the water wheels inside that, like so. Right, I'm just going to get out so I'm not like stuck there. And I will actually have two. So this will be like the huge, huge wheel. So that's why I want to make four, uh, so I can put two more over here. So let's get some water, which should be not a problem to get, right? And here I'm going to pour it over there, like that. It's going to pour down. I might fill the bottom with water, we'll see about that. And as you can see, we are turning. I'm going to put in one more bucket of water so it turns a little bit faster and produces more energy. Like because like this is not really a, a huge huge speed. So there you go. The reason why I'm putting it here and not here is because if I would put it here it would spread on the both sides and as you know uh, if the water flows on the both sides it would not really rotate. So that's this. And now I need, I think I need the connector over here, so, boom. Uh, where I will have the battery? Uh, this is the middle, so I might put the battery in here. Because, like, yeah, let's break it. And so either underneath it and then I will have cables running out or I will have it inside the house. Yeah, this will be better. Yeah, uh, so I don't think it will be able to reach however, but let's test. So I have a connector on there and the coils click and click. Yeah, the connection is obstructed. So what I need, what I want to do, is put a cable sticking out. And for the cable, I'm going to use a first cable from Solar Frax Reborn, because it's very cheap. Just three redstone. Well, it's not that cheap, but it's the only cable I can actually make. There might be others, but yeah. Uh, so I need some Restonia crystals and some glass, which I don't think I have any remaining glass, because I used all my glass for the windows and for the top stuffs. Yeah, I need some sand. So here is the first cable, so I can now, hopefully this will work, uh, plug it here and have the connector on that. And now I will connect this to that, of course it's going to be obstructed because of this, which is fine. I can get rid of these. So let's see. Link and link. There we go. And we are getting some RF in. And it's fairly decent, right? Like we have 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. So yeah, it's pretty much 1,000 RF per second, which is a fairly nice amount. Oh, yeah, the collectors can have only one. Uh, can I use relays in here? I don't think this will work, right? Oops, come on. Shit. Uh, you know what I might need to do? I might need to do it this way, so I might not even need this cable. So I will have the connector on this, and I will have the relay on this. So now I should be able to... Uh, 
Where are the wires? They should not disappear on me. What? Oh, there we go. I was a little bit worried. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. That works. Now to there and there. That works. And this to this. That should work. Yes, nice. Awesome. Boom. Boom. I don't know... Yeah, I think it might be better to have it, like, in the wall, actually. It will look better. Much better. Yeah. So I will have it like this. So, which means I need to uh, re put the relay here. The connector here. And now let's do the cabling. So, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Awesome. So let me make the second set of the water wheels and also uh, fix the window. All right, so let's put these down. It will start to rotate because of the water is hitting that. But as you can see, it rotates much uh, slower. So what am I going to do is I'm going to place the water on top of that wheel as well. There we go. So now it should rotate roughly at the same speed ish. Of course, the difference there will still be some difference because of some other like reasons, but I don't know. And we are generating RF without any cranking and without any issue at all. So, guys, I'm going to call it a quiz, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time what I will be doing is... Uh, I will make myself a hammer and a lumber axe, but it's going to be off camera. Uh, so, what actually has a guide for us in store? So, we have made the Atomic Reconstructor, which is cool. And this now opens generating and using power for everything from progressive automation. So, auto, auto crafting, farming, mining, and killing. Uh, yeah, we can craft the immersive engineering dynamo, which I did. A much better power storage. Yeah, yeah. So, it also offers cheap cables for low power needs, definitely. And energizer and elevator from actual additions to charge items. I don't think we need it just yet. We can still the char uh, use a the power cube to charge our calculators if we will need to. For automating, you can also use integrated dynamics. So we can pretty much move to the H3 of the Age of Engineering, which is the empowering age for which we will need the empowerer. Empowerer. Yeah. Cool. Let me actually check. So, integrated dynamics. What actually does this? Reads audio information, reads blocks, so we have some readers. I never play with integrated dynamics, never. So I have no idea what this mod is about. Variable store, logic programmer, uh, some batteries, generator, proxy, materializer, some manual, drying basin, squeezer. I have no idea what this mod is like, what really just... Put... <sighs> no, no, I will need to watch some videos about this. But yeah. So, guys, as I said, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are not already for more Age of Engineering videos, which are coming out pretty much daily on my channel now. Uh, and I will see you all next time in the next episode of Age of Engineering, where we will be doing some probably empowering and sorts of shenanigans. So, take care and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.